Okay, now I'm on big. Started pouring again. He's doing great. Uh, everything looks different in the rain to the horses. Remember, they don't see in color like us, so you know the shades change. So things that they normally walk by, they might not want to, or they might look at a little bit more. Uh, when it's windy and raining and there's extra noise, they can be um, jumpy because they can't hear the predators as well. So they are usually more on high alert and uh, more likely to spook versus when it's not raining and windy. But this guy is great. <laughs> so we don't have any of those issues. Okay, so let's do, do a little fox trot. So you'll see his ears going back and forth, his head going up and down, and I'm going up and down. Just if it gets a little bouncy, I just half halt on the rein, just squeeze, relax. You know, and if, if anybody's practicing their fox trot and they're like, wow, it keeps getting really bouncy. You're going too fast for that horse's uh, muscle tone at that point in time or what he, his natural ability is. Uh, some of them, you know, just don't go that fast. Other ones go really fast, just like people. So just depends on their muscles and then also their uh, breeding, confirmation, how well you're riding them and, uh, you know, their natural ability. Just like people, some are fast and some are slow. And maybe we can give you a view up here of all the fox rings. So pretty. Okay, so let's talk about your trotty horse. Going downhill, you might saw another horse that was going a lot slower. So this one's on the trotty side. So to make them more lateral, as long as your horse is sure-footed, Go down the hill faster. Now, not a super steep hill, something like this, which is a gradual decline. Because this will be more lateral for them. Because horses tend to get pacey downhill, which is lateral. In case you didn't know, you know, the pace is lateral. So it'll work different muscles versus going uphill makes the horses trottier. So pacey horses, you can have them go up the hills faster trotty horses have them go down hills faster and then the reverse pacey horses have them go downhill slow engage themselves and uh, give them things to do to try to keep them out of the pace and then your uh, trotty horses when you're going uphill keep their head up a little bit and uh, don't it, don't uh, go too fast or you're going to put them more into a trot <laughs> look at his hair now so usually it's his ears flopping now he's got some hair shaking so you'll see we're, we're gating, not super fast, but we're gating and we're going down the hill. So up here it's going to take more of a decline. So I'll let you see what happens as we go down the hill. So um, you'll see, you know, it, it might be a little bit choppier but it's still smooth. There he's getting a little trotty. I'm going to slow it down. But you'll see it's a nice gait. So remember, going downhill works different muscles than going uphill. So use it to your advantage instead of sitting there just talking to your friend, not paying attention. If you want to make your horse's gait better, you know, figure out which is your horse, trotty or pacey, or what is he doing downhill and what is he doing uphill, and figure out uh, a program to do uh, if you want to make him smoother and faster to use those hills to your advantage as a workout. So again, we're going downhill. He's definitely not pacing, but this has made him a little bit more lateral. And here are the four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, 
I just went by a truck. So, um, something else I like about riding in the rain because I go th down the streets or through the neighborhoods or, you know, wherever there's cement or gravel. Um, I do have traction device on their feet, so I'm not going to slide, uh, which are studs, but you can use boram, whatever you want to use, just talk to your shore. Um, but what I like is you meet all the neighbors. I talk to them, I chat with them about horses, you know, give them information, educate them on them, because, again, there's not enough horses out there anymore. People don't see them like they used to, so if you ride them down their neighborhood, the roads, and you're nice and pleasant, you might get some more people into the sport, and we want to make sure horses stay around, don't we? So, uh, you know, ride through your neighborhoods, let the kids pet them, chit chat with people, give them a little education on the horse, and uh, and they don't mind you riding through their neighborhood at all. I haven't had, knock on wood, I haven't had anybody get mad at me. They're all super friendly, they stop for me, they chat, their kids pet the horses, and uh, and then I make more friends, so how cool is that?